to Arizona now and a major victory for police in Phoenix. Detectives this week made the biggest opioid seizure of its kind in city history. More than one million fentanyl pills destined for the streets. It's a nationwide crisis. CBS's Danya Backus in Los Angeles joins us with more. Good evening, Adriana. President Biden is committing, committing $1.5 billion to help states combat the opioid crisis. It comes as officials in Los Angeles work to prevent more student overdoses, like a fatal one here last week. Tonight, the fight against the nation's opioid crisis is on full display. Phoenix police nabbing more than 1 million fentanyl pills, the biggest seizure of its kind in the department's history. In Colorado, a driver hauling 90,000 fentanyl pills and more than two pounds of fentanyl powder was stopped near the Utah state line. Fentanyl is a synthetic opioid 50 times more potent than heroin, and deadly overdoses are rising at an alarming rate. More than 107,000 Americans died from overdoses in 2021, two-thirds of them related to fentanyl. Here in Los Angeles, seven L.A. Unified School District students overdosed in just one month. 15-year-old Melanie Ramos died. We absolutely need to do better. We should not be here today mourning the loss of a student. In response to the overdoses, all K-12 through L.A. Unified schools will soon be stocked with an overdose antidote, naloxone. Adriana? Tanya Backus, thanks so much.